Así que empecemos el show, nada más y nada menos que con María Sharapova, embajadora mundial de Porsche aquí en Miami en el Sony Open. Well, Maria, uh, thank you very much for taking time. You know, of this course. is one of the busiest weeks of, uh, yes. of your time here in Miami for the tennis tournament. But uh, you are the ambassador for Porsche, but you didn't just like sign a contract. You actually won a car before you signed up this I contract, did. right? I did. I did. I, I was playing the Porsche Grand Prix in Stuttgart and um, for the first time in my career, actually, a couple of years ago. And, and I got to drive away with a, with a new car. Um, and it is still a car that I drive today. Really? That's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, and it was, um, you know, it's obviously very symbolic when you're able to, to take something home like that after winning a tournament and, and still have it because you always think of that memory. Yeah. And little by little I got to know the Porsche family and, um, and it's been great to, to be able to work with them professionally and, and be the ambassador for the brand. Yeah, so I guess that was a, like a very easy transition because you already <laughs> were driving a car that you love, I guess, I did, right? I did, I really, it was. I, I feel that that's extremely extremely important when starting a, a relationship like that because getting to know the, the people and, and the brand itself and, and the people that um, you know the, the people that are involved from the CEO to the owners and um, I had a, a great relationship with them so it's always it's nice to know because you know you have to know what you expect from each other yeah. and in the partnership knowing that time is very valuable because of my travels and what exactly. I do in my profession and um, So, but it's been great so yeah, far. Yeah, and it's an authentic relationship, like really truth. Like again, like you, you love the car, you still drive it. So I it's, do. It's I exactly. drive the car every day. And but I uh, you, you uh, grew up here in uh, Florida, right? Yes. So you learned to drive here in, my, in uh, Florida. I did. I, guess? I drove in a parking lot in a mall in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Not very challenging. Uh, no, it wasn't very challenging. Like no, I, no, I. Well, then I moved up when I got busy, and then I got yeah. got on the roads, and yeah. So I guess you've driven it in Germany in the autobahn. I have. I have, <laughs> you have that experience. I, and I've been driven in it too which is usually faster because you know, yeah. I'm, I'm always on the safer side and it's usually you the, the to, drivers yeah. that are can we push it a little bit I'm like sure I'm just the passenger <laughs> yeah what what impresses you most of these cars because obviously there's like two things of these cars they are obviously very luxury mm -hmm. but they're also like high performance I drove the hybrid for example today I was today. amazed by the technology yeah but also you have to be amazed by the performance and the luxury and the details I mean yeah. there's like so many things right? there are a lot of things and I think one of them is You know Porsche as as a 911, and I think over the years it's been great to see the history of the 911 come into something like the Panamera and come into something like the Cayenne and go into the Macan and to see the futures of what the brand stands yeah. for, and because that's never an easy transition, and yeah. they've been able to to take all the details that have been so popular and acknowledged for so many years and bring it into these great cars. Yeah, so there was some controversy when they launched first the Cayenne that some people said, oh, it's not a Porsche, course, but it is course. a Porsche, right? Of course, and now how many Cayennes do you see? It's, it's <laughs> All incredible. over the place, yeah. Exactly. So being here in Miami, I guess you don't have too much uh, time to, to uh, drive the cars. You're like concentrating on the tournament. Yes, and, well, uh, I still drive the car to the tournament. Oh, yeah? My Cayenne, yes. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So, Uh, what's your favorite city to drive? I guess Germany, I guess, because you can go as fast so. as you can. <laughs> yeah, I do. I love to drive in Germany. Um, it, it's great to have that a bit of freedom once in a while, of course, and yeah. especially when, when you have the, you know, the, the speed of a Porsche. You want to use it. You want to be able to, to experience the ultimate. And you know, besides a track, it's probably where you can actually feel all the details of the car. Yeah. And being you an ambassador for Porsche and also for like a role model for so many young people mm -hmm. in the world, I mean, obviously, you can, as you said, you can enjoy the car a little bit, but there's responsibility behind that, right? Of course. Well, I think, you know, we always, as human beings, we have responsibilities in, in this world. And, um, you know, safety always comes first, especially when it comes to driving and paying attention to the road and not on any mobile devices and things like that. It's, it's always a very sensitive issue. And, of course, it's, it's an incredible experience when you're driving a Porsche, but safety does always come first. Yeah, and that, they have a lot of that, too. So yes, <laughs> You can feel do. safe in a Porsche. Right. Well, Maria, thank you very much for your thank time. You. I know you're super busy, Thanks. but I really appreciate thank the opportunity. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Wow, increíble la experiencia ahí con Maria Sharapova. Gracias a Cristina Schieber, Antonella Domasi, Lindsay Warner del grupo de Porsche de Relaciones Públicas aquí en Estados Unidos y Latinoamérica por una velada realmente espectacular que compartimos ahí en el Sand Ridges en Ball Harbor con María Sharapova. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.